Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be teaching you how to bring the 3D Cross SVG box and the layered mandala card into Cricut Design Space, prepare them to cut, and give you the correct cut settings for your machine. There is a separate video available below in the description for assembling the 3D Cross SVG files. Now let's get started. Here we are in Cricut Design Space, and we're gonna go ahead and bring the paper cross box into the software. We're gonna scroll over to the left, down where it says Upload, and we're gonna click on upload and then we're going to go to upload image and then we're going to go to browse and now we're going to go find the file these files will be where you save them to on your computer at the time of purchase so we're going to start out by opening the 3d paper cross svg and when you get to this prepare to upload there should be a green box around it we're going to go ahead and choose upload then we're going to select the file under recent uploads and we're going to choose add to canvas once the file is on your screen we're going to go ahead and ungroup it so so we're going to scroll over to the layers panel and we're going to select on group. The next step is going to be to change all of the score lines. In my files, the score lines are always black. So we're going to find all of the black files and we're going to hold our command key on an Apple or control key on a PC. And then we're going to highlight each of the black lines in the layers panel. So we're going to go ahead and select all of those together. And once we have them all selected, we're going to go up to the top menu bar under operation. We're going to select the drop down menu and we're going to choose score at this point you can see that it turned all of those black lines into dashed lines and that's exactly what we wanted it to do the next step is we need to attach our score lines or these dashed lines to the object they are on so that when you go to cut it they remain attached so we were going to just rubber band select over each of the items and then we're going to scroll to the bottom of the layers panel and choose attach we're going to go ahead and do that for these three Make sure you're selecting all of the score lines. There's multiple score lines in each rectangle. And then choose Attach. And we're just gonna go ahead and go through and repeat this process for all of the score lines. This fourth item here, this is vellum. We're also going to attach the two vellum crosses together so they stay on the same page. So we're gonna rubber band select those and we're gonna choose Attach. And then we're gonna choose Make It. And so this first page here is eight and a half by 11 vellum paper. The second page is 12 by 12, 65 pound cardstock. And the third page is 12 by 12, 65 pound cardstock. Just a quick note, the first layer that comes in on your screen is the top layer of the box. You can't see this with your eye, but I have made the bottom layer of the box one thirty second smaller so that it slips into the other one. So don't just cut two of one of these. It, it won't won't work for you as nicely as if you were to use each of these separate mats. This one is slightly larger than this one. So if everything looks good on your screen, we're going to go ahead and click continue and attach our Cricut machine. Once our Cricut machine is attached, the very first layer that we're cutting, this yellow layer, is the vellum layer. So under set base material, we're going to choose vellum. And then I always increase my pressure to more. At this point, we're going to go ahead and load our fine point blade into the machine. We're going to load our vellum on a light grip mat. We're going to load that mat into the machine and we're going to select the go button. The next step in our project is to create the top of the box. The top of the box is going to be cut from 65 pound cardstock. This is a detailed cut so we are going to choose intricate cuts. It's very important that you're using a clean light grip mat, a sharp cutting blade, and 65 pound cardstock in the color of your choice. Then we're going to go up to base material and we're going to click on where we chose vellum so that this panel comes up and we're going to choose cardstock for intricate cuts and we're going to increase the pressure to more. If you can't see cardstock for intricate cuts, you can go over here to browse all materials. You can select that and um, then go ahead and type in the search box, type in cardstock and then click search and you'll see it shows up here at the top cardstock for intricate cuts and then you can click done. So now that we have cardstock stock for intricate cuts selected we're going to choose more pressure and then it's telling us we're going to load in our scoring wheel and then after that is done scoring we're going to load in our fine point blade and we are using 65 pound cardstock on a light grip mat and then we're going to hit go and then we're going to repeat that process for this third layer, which also is using cardstock for intricate cuts. And you'll load your scoring wheel, score your material, then you'll load your fine point blade, hit your go key, and then your material will be done cutting. 
Now we're going to bring in the layered mandala card. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to upload the file and then we're going to choose upload image. Then we're going to choose browse and then we're going to find the file. This file is going to be wherever you saved it to at the time of purchase. We are going to select the layered 3D paper cross card. It's in the SVG version of the file and we're going to choose open. Then when it has a green box around it under the prepare to upload menu, we're going to click upload. Then we're going to select Select the file, it'll always be on your upper far left, and we're going to click Add to Canvas. The first step is going to be to ungroup the files. I'm going to go ahead and move this down over here, this envelope, and zoom in so you guys can see a little better. Okay, and this is like all my other files. All of the black lines are score lines. We're going to find there's two sets of them. There's one here, and then if you scroll down just a little bit, there's another one there. You're going to hold your Command key on a Mac or your Control key on a PC, and you're going to highlight both of those score line layers together in the Layers panel. Then we're going to go up to the top menu bar under operation. We're going to select the drop down menu and we're going to choose score. Now we need to attach the score lines to the items. So we're going to rubber band select the envelope. We're going to choose attach at the bottom of the layers panel. And then we're going to go up to the card and we're going to attach that center score line to the card. So make sure you only have the score line and the card backing selected. And then we're going to choose attach. At this point, this card has come to the front and that won't matter. It's okay. When we go to cut the file, you'll be able to see everything. A note on this, he is risen. I recommend that you cut this portion out of vinyl. It's just going to be so much easier for you to put it on there. You can cut it out of paper, but it'll be a little more tricky and it's also much more difficult to line up in place. Whereas with vinyl, you can use transfer paper. So there's a couple of tips for that. It might be easiest to go ahead and rubber band select your words and attach those as well so they stay connected together when you make it. But now we're going to go ahead and choose make it and here it's going to lay them all out for you. So we are working with 65 pound cardstock on a clean light grip mat. It's very important that you have a sharp preferably new blade in your machine. We'll go ahead and go through each of these preview mats just so that you can see them. For the envelope, I'm using a heavy pattern paper. I'm putting the pattern on the inside of the envelope for a nice touch, but I'll have to change my cut settings for that. And I recommend, I won't be doing it for this project. When you're making cards, you're gonna want a heavier cardstock for your card backing. The 65 pound cardstock is great for intricate, delicate cuts, but when you're making card backings, they're usually a little bit nicer if you use a thicker cardstock heavier than 65 pound. And then the words you'll want to cut either from a vinyl or I'm going to try it here from paper, but I'm feeling like the words are going to come out better in vinyl, but we'll find out. So here we go. The very first item on my mat is an intricate cut. I'm going to select my base material cardstock for intricate cuts. I always increase my pressure to more, and then I'm going to go ahead and load my fine point blade and load my mat into the machine and hit the go button. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that for each of the crosses. But when you get to this envelope, if you want to use 65 pound cardstock, you can. I think envelopes come out a little better with a heavy pattern paper. So I'll be loading a heavy pattern paper in my machine for this. And you're going to need the scoring wheel on this. It has score lines. For this one, I would use for my card backing, probably a little bit heavier paper so that my card is thicker in weight. And then the last cross in the words, again, will be 65 pound cardstock because we're using the cardstock for intricate cut setting. So that's it. I will see you over in the assembly video and we'll go ahead and make these.